we transform our data inside Power Query Editor, loaded to create Power BI data model, and we write our DAX expressions for various analysis. Finally, we create the visuals and publish the report to Power BI service. But today, let's understand how we can utilize Microsoft Fabric components for better scalability and performance. All right, here I have created this blank workspace and I have assigned the Fabric trial capacity to it. We know that Microsoft Fabric is a new offering, which is a package of all these Azure data platforms, which we can use inside our Power BI workspaces. I am going to demonstrate many amazing new features, which are not only easy, but are mostly familiar to you, and it has the scalability you always wanted in your Power BI solutions. So I am creating this Synapse data warehouse just inside my Power BI workspace. I posted an intro video about it, and we know that with each warehouse, it automatically creates a default Power BI dataset as well, which will be in sync with your warehouse. You can see the default dataset with same name has been automatically created. Let's load some data inside our warehouse. For that, we can use data factory operation. Once you click on that, you will notice that apart from data pipeline, there is a new process, which is called data flow gen two. And what is this? Is this a Power Query Editor? No, this is new data flow gen two. It can load data to other locations as well. I will show you the options available here in a while. In this example, I will connect to my local SQL server and load the Contoso 10 million dataset. Since this is on-premise data source, I have used my data gateway as well. I will select the required tables. For example, I will select these four tables. Click on Create. Now we are inside Online Power Query Editor. Here are the transformation steps, and below that we can see the option about the destination. This is unique to Dataflow Gen 2. Now we can select our tables and then load to the available location. We can create a lake house inside Fabric Capacity, but in this example, I will load these tables to the data warehouse. Please note that these features are in preview. At this place, it may ask you to log in again with your Microsoft account. I will select my Fabric Demo workspace and then select the earlier created data warehouse. Click on Next and save the setting. If you are updating an existing table, you can also do the column mapping. I will repeat these steps for all other tables and load all of them to my data warehouse. If I open my data warehouse, I can see the schema, the database object, and my tables. Here I see many different options. I can load more data. I can run SQL query, DAX query, or Power Query transformations. For example, I'm running this query to count the total number of orders present in my sales table. And I can quickly check that I have over 10 million orders. With this visual query option, I can simply drag these tables and can do all the available Power Query transformations. For example, I will merge both of these tables and will save as a new view. So I will select the Merge Query option, and then I will select the common key for the merge or join operation. Product key is the common key between these tables. So I will select that, and then I will select the join kind. Here I need a left outer join. Click on OK. Then I can select the additional columns from my product table. If you are wondering about this editor, then click on this, and you will see that. This is nothing but your favorite Power Query Editor running with Synapse Data Warehouse inside Fabric Capacity. You can see all these M codes, which gets generated for each transformation steps. You can save this result as a table or view. Apart from that, you can directly create visualizations directly from this place itself. As said, you can also save the result as a table or view. The SQL query is readily available for all the operations done by Power Query. Click on OK, and your view will be created and saved inside this section. After all these transformations, we can just click on Model View to create the data modeling by creating the relationships between these tables, and we can also write our DAX measures here. By default, all the tables are part of Power BI dataset, but if you want to exclude some of the tables, you can just click on this place and then select this option. Don't worry. This table will just be removed from the Power BI default dataset, not from the warehouse. Creating relationships is exactly the same as we do inside Power BI Desktop. 
where we can just drag and drop the common columns to create the relationships based on the cardinality. One important thing to notice here is that these tables are connected as direct query mode. So any changes in our warehouse tables will impact our dataset without doing any refresh. You can also create your DAX measures. DAX IntelliSense is available here to guide you in your measure creation. Click on New Report to create a brand new Power BI report based on this dataset. You can even connect to these data sources from Power BI Desktop as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric.